which people can see your service animal here. That's Red Rock. Yes. Sir. Tell me about Red Rock. Red Rock is a service animal that happens to be under classification of reptile, or as we say, a red-tailed boa constrictor. Boa constrictor. How big is Red Rock? What's Red Rock has grown since you last saw him. When you last saw him, he was about four eight. He's about five foot now. Okay, five foot. And how old is is this guy? We don't know how old he is exactly, okay. but seeing as we haven't been here like two years, we'll say he's about four years old. Mm, okay. All right. So now, now, as you no doubt recall. I was a bit skeptical. Yes, I remember about that this. very much so. Why do you need Red Rock as a service animal? Red Rock is an early warning system for my epilepsy okay. and for other events which can be considered uh, things like anxiety, which I have occasion to have, anxiety attacks and such. He detects these before I even know they're going to happen. Why is he flipping his tongue out at the microphone like that? He's just smelling the air. Yeah. He's taking senses of what's going on around here. Yeah. He hasn't been here for a while. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm trying to get my webcam trained on him. I'll, I'll keep working on it here. Okay, so so he's an early warning sensor for your epilepsy. you got to yes, explain sir. this to me. Okay, as most people with epilepsy would know, we don't usually know until a few seconds before it happens that we're going to have a, an epileptic fit. And in my case, falling down six foot six, I'm a tall man. That can be uh, very harmful to my body, especially yeah. my head area. That can cause a lot of uh, head trauma. Well, Red Rock will give me a gentle squeeze around the sides of the neck, where the jugular veins are found. He won't bite me, he won't hurt me. He'll just give a very slight squeeze. And that indicates to me that something is wrong and I should take immediate steps to sit down and maybe see what's going on with myself. Okay, now, because I, I, I just have trouble believing this. What does Red Rock sense that... Uh, that some other, you know, that a doggy could not sense, or that you can't sense coming on yourself. Well, that's the one thing, Dory. I haven't really come down to. The, I have some theologies on that, some some ideas of what that is, some theories. Uh, one of my theories is maybe it's a, a vibration in my body. Maybe it's maybe it's an electrical discharge from my body. I don't know exactly. I'm not going to put my finger on it and say this is what he detects. Okay. Now you just were successful. You getting you got the law changed. No, I didn't. Okay. The law went against me. Uh, so you, so he is not a service animal? He's Apparently, not... according to DADA, he is no longer a service animal, nor are monkeys, rats, or any other primates or other creatures. Okay, so just doggies. Doggies just dogs and, and, and miniature, miniature horses. horses. Miniature horses, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, and, and you remember my skepticism about yes, this. Yes, I do recall your skepticism. And, and, and the reason for my skepticism is some people, I think Red Rock's a very, very cool animal. He is uh, a very uh, yeah. gentle animal. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, gorgeous and uh, and I mean, stunning. I, I really do think that. But some people have a a just a paralyzing fear of snakes. Yes, and I I concern myself about and, that as well. Right, and so if if I own a business, Daniel, you know, if I've got a cupcake shop or a right. or a clothing shop, right. and I see. The six foot six inch giant man <laughs> with a five foot giant snake around his neck. I'm thinking, and the law is going to demand that I let this guy in my business when it might scare away all of my other customers? Okay, first of all, you've got a mistake there. Red Rock is not usually seen. As you notice, I'm wearing a jacket. Yeah. This jacket I wear all the time. Yeah. Red Rock is usually underneath this jacket. You don't know how big Red Rock is. You don't even see him. A lot of times he'll sit under my jacket and stay there. Yeah. It's warm for him, he's comfortable, he's happy, he stays there. No no problems. Occasionally he'll stick his head out, he'll snoop around, he'll want to see what's going on around him, he'll want to take a smell of the air, see what's around. Yeah. Okay, then you'll see him. Then it's up to me to put him back underneath my jacket, or in some cases I'll just let him look around. And if it's my, it's my concern as a person, as a disabled person with such an animal, not to go near you, the owner, or to stay away from those people. Right. But if you come up to me and say, excuse me, sir, I'm having a bit of an issue with people not coming into my store. Would you mind please leaving and come back in later? I have no issue. But you're a considerate guy. I am very considerate, if, if, and a lot of disabled people are considerate. But, there, but there are some who are, are not going to be as considerate no, as you. they're not. And they're going to be militant about it. Oh, and, yes. And if their boa constrictor is oh, judged by it, the hold government... It, hold it. No. Not everyone has a boa constrictor. No, no, no. I understand that. I'm just saying, if there's another guy yes, there's with another a boa... Guy. And uh, and they want to be a militant about it. 
then they should be forced out of the store. I, I, but, but, the, but the law won't the allow law. that. If, if Red Rock is declared a service animal, right. then, then that other militant guy, there's no way you could force him out of no, the store. But and then know, there's a problem. Yeah, there is a big problem here. There's a problem with the, this man's attitude. And I agree, I understand what you're coming from. Yeah. See, this is why I've been petitioning the government for over two years now. Yeah. I went to Congress, I asked my congressman, will you please come forward and speak to me? I have an idea that's going to take care of this issue. So we don't have all these, these little dogs coming into stores like Walmarts and places. And I've witnessed this. Yeah. I've witnessed a lady taking a little dog into Walmarts sitting there with her doggy in the cart and feeding him potato and feeding yeah, him I saw trust. a guy with his dog in the produce aisle at a grocery store last week and I don't want that. No, you don't. And neither do I. And yeah. I don't take Red Rock in the produce. This is where people get a lot of mis misunderstandings. Right. Okay. I don't go into food process areas. I understand general health. I know general health. Yeah. I okay. spoke to the health department. Oh, you tell you what, i got to take a break here. Now, now my... No, we were talking off the air. Last time I got to hold Red Rock, and, yes. and that was an issue because he's a service animal. You let, can I hold Red Rock here? I think I want this. I want everybody I'm going to, to take him off. I'm going to take him off duty for a few minutes, okay? okay. But I don't want to make this a, apparent that he does this all the time. All I right. wanted to understand. No, this is educational yes, for my listeners. We got a lot of people right. on the webcam. Okay, so I'm going to hold this five footer on on our webcam so people can see. What a gorgeous creature he is. Yes, and he's not vicious, like okay. you were saying. Oh, he's, gonna jo he's got beady eyes, he's going to bite my jaw. No, he's not beady. He's got beady eyes. Okay, I agree with that. He's got beady little eyes. Well, and you reminded me my concern <laughs> was... Well, no, my biggest concern was that some of my colleagues, I believe, have rat breath. Yes. And that they got that rat yes. breath on the microphone, and, and, the Red Rock, after, yeah. and the Red Rock was going to think that that was me, and he yeah, was going to... Well, no, okay, no, so, I, okay. All right, no, he's, okay. he's a cool animal. I, yes, I don't, yes. I, I won't just him. Okay, so... You know, he's, uh, okay, let me, okay, here, let me take a break. Let yeah. me take a break here, and then, uh, you know, hop on the old webcam, and I'll show everybody Red Rock, what he looks like on, on me. I may, I may get me one of these service animals. Well, so we'll actually, do that in just a couple minutes here after Jessica checks the news. Here on the North Dude, they're all sick. <laughs> oh, were they? <laughs> Boy, you've had, you've I've had, had time to movie. watch. <laughs> hey, where's he going now? Oh, he's just going to run you back. He's, he's, he's not going to fall. I don't want him to fall. No, he won't. Oh, I don't, I don't think that animal could fall. Okay. Oh, yes, he could. Could he? I think, he's a, I think his arm uh, actually hurt him. Yeah, can we do it right here? Step a little closer. Okay. Oh, you just let Jake hold the camera if you want. Oh, boy, honey. Do you want me to? Yeah. There's going to be a conversation about us. You and Doria Kitts, I'm really cool conversation. You want someone who doesn't see you as a line on a spreadsheet. Someone who actually knows you. Very nice. Well, there he goes for the mic. You want for that mic? You can't sure Dave hasn't got rat breath. No. Dory, if you're going to go live after this, I can go and do my news in the other studio. It's okay. Oh, yeah, for this one, no, he doesn't want to let you go now. Dory? No, I like it. I don't, I don't wanna, do you want to hold problem. him while you record this real fast? Don't leave until I get a picture with Red Rock and you guys, okay? Yeah, not a problem. Not a problem. We'll hang around. Okay.